Yellow Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to answer the question, is Race Mink V4 good for Buddha Fruit users? But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so we're gonna start this video by awakening our race, and that is Mink, right? So first, we are going to run through some requirements just in case you want to awaken this race. So everything happens on a full moon. Always remember that. Next up, make sure you have Mink V3 and also the gear from the Mirage Island. Why? Because that is the one that will open this door, okay? So other requirements, you need two more players with different races and you need to use your race skills in front of your tryouts. So guys, for the Mink trial, here it is. You can check the banners. There you go. So that's a rabbit for us. And again, on a full moon, together with the two other players with two different races, you're going to use your skills in front of your trial door. Guys, check this out for our signal. I counted from one to three. There you go. And then we're going again to use our skills at the same time. So if you do this correctly, there you go. Trial starts in five, four, three, two, one. For the trial of the mink race, you need to finish a maze. So comparing it to the other races, this one, you don't need to defeat anyone during your trial. So at first, it's really easy. Just finish the maze and you will find a red uh, square thing. There it is. And that's it. Okay, so after that, you need to defeat two other players in order for you to awaken your race. Okay, make sure to talk to the other players first on who will go on and awaken his, her race. Okay guys, so as you can see, there is a light here. You need to follow this one, fast forwarding it, and head to the ancient clock. There you go, just press E, and you will open your gears. So first, we will open the first gear, there you go. Transformation guys, the description, receive max stats as well as increased damage and speed, and heal by 10%, so not bad. Let's click this one. There you go. Our first gear, guys. Congratulations to us. Okay, so moving on. Next thing to do is talk to Red Hit Essence and he will tell you to come back when you've trained more. So guys, training here is equal to transformation, meaning you need to transform lots of times. So for the first transformation upgrade, it took me two transformations before he sold me the transformation upgrade. Check this out, this is the second one. And I tried to talk to him and he will tell you that you've been working hard, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna sell you. There you go for 1,000 fragments. Okay, so off to our second trial. So the maze gets harder every after trial. So still, you need one minute to finish it. Same with the first one, but again, the trail gets harder. Guys, and also it changes, believe me. So this is the second trail. Okay, there you go. So guys, if you know some other uh, techniques, not just to follow this trail, for example, Sora, etc., or use some of your uh, skills, make sure to comment it on the comment section so that we can help each and everyone to finish this maze easily. Okay, so after the maze, defeat the other players. There you go. And now we're gonna head again to the ancient clock. Here it is. So for our second upgrade, you will choose between two gears, again, the blue and the red. So I decided to choose the Whirlwind, the blue one. Let's equip it. Don't worry, I'm gonna showcase the other one later. After this, you're going to repeat the process again, meaning you need to train harder. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you the Whirlwind. So every dash, you will leave a Whirlwind, right? There you go guys. But as you can see, the Whirlwind's kinda small, but it has damage, which is really good, right? Every dash you make. I think this one's really good. Okay, so the next transformation will require 1,500 fragments. Which is kinda uh, cheap, to be honest. So for the third trial, again, things will get harder. There you go. So I'm gonna show it to you, this maze. There you go. So as you can see, more uh, openings, more paths to choose from. Okay, oh. Player completed the trial, two remaining. 36 seconds to go, guys. Hmm. Left, right, left, left. Okay, I'm feeling we're almost there. Oh no. Okay, one remaining, and that's me. 
Hi, I'm the problem. It's me, Taylor Swift, guys. <laughs> there you go, guys. Okay. So after that, again, repeat the process. Go to the ancient clock, and now we will unlock our third gear. So guys, he will let you choose from the blue and red one, but I wanted to choose the blue because we're gonna compare how big the whirlwind is now. So check it out. Let's compare it. Transforming, train hard. Here it is, guys. Check this out. It's kind of bigger now, so let's compare it with the previous one. There you go. Check that out. Looks cooler. Okay, so moving on. Our fourth trial, it will require 2,000 fragments. Guys, I skipped the fourth trial because it's kind of easy. Here are the gears. So now, time to equip the red gear. Again, this is our fourth trial. Dashes will become longer because of electricity and that's it. Mm, I really don't know <laughs> that's good. So here it is. I'm going to show you guys. Check it out. While dashing, you will notice some effects on it. Oh, there it is, guys. See that? So guys, what do you think is better? Is it uh, the dash or the whirlwind? Comment it in the comment section. Moving on for our fifth trial, guys. This is really hard starting from here. This will cost you 2,500 fragments. Guys, I lost lots of times here. It's really hard to be honest. So, so it took me 13 tries just to finish this one. And here it is. If you can memorize the pattern. Hopefully, we have the same pattern in your uh, awakening or finishing this fifth trial. There you go. So as you can see, 44 seconds remaining. Okay, turn left. Okay, hopefully no dead end here. Okay. Oh, dead end. 30 seconds, guys. Okay, another dead end. Let's turn left now. Oh no, no, we're going right. So while we are going towards our right side, guys, why is our heart not always correct? Because it's on the left side, right? Okay, just joking. Moving on. We're almost there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, there you go. Okay. So finally, finish our fifth trial. So we're gonna defeat our friends, and after that open all the gears guys again just a reminder you can still do quests so if you want it go for it there you go so guys you can choose from whether you want to upgrade the dash or the whirlwind so again if you're gonna ask me i'm gonna use the whirlwind okay let's change it back this is all fast forwarded so i skip another uh trial i didn't show it to you okay so moving on guys let me answer some questions here is this one good for PvP? Guys, remember that the Buddha fruit is nerfed. So every time you use your M1 while well in Buddha form, PvP 27.5% decreased M1 damage. But M1 damage is decreased, right? But if you're a sword user, yes. As you can see, I'm showing it here. Just a clip from my previous video. Again, if you're a Buddha sword user, then it's still fine, I guess. Okay? So again, I'm not a PvP. A person but I will do videos on that so for the meantime I'm gonna show you a video of a raid using Mink V4 and Buddha Fruit M1 fight style so guys you can transform the second island starting from here so let's do it there you go as you can see we can now transform okay and then shift to Buddha let's check this out while you're using your M1 you can start dashing and check the whirlwinds there you go there will be no problems on your meter because you are always hitting your enemies so once you transform no problems don't worry you will be able to finish this raid while in awakened form okay so as you can see again the whirlwinds always do damage also they can be trapped there like for a mini stun there you go so while doing your dash you are also using your m1 to damage your enemy again the decrease and uh M1 damage will also take effect when you are doing PvP. Okay? Okay, so some tips on this island. Just stay here. There you go. If you're doing solo and every mob will go towards you. This is the fastest way. There you go. Okay, so guys. What is your record in finishing this uh, raid? Again, if you are uh, grinding fragments, make sure to do it in the flame raid. Ice Raid, I tried it. It's kind of slower. Mainly because of the, uh, what do you call this? 
the structure of the islands it's kind of hard to locate every enemy because there are lots of buildings in some islands and some might get stuck here they're uh, always in an open area most of the time okay okay so after this moving on to our final guys check that out check the whirlwind it really looks good so gamer Nom, is uh, mink race the best race in the game so far for me no guys i don't know i really don't like this much i think i prefer the human v4 i'm gonna try doing raids and some pvp with this but i'm gonna focus on awakening every race first okay so some tips on the final island just stay here guys everyone will go towards you no mob will get stuck okay okay so just stay here there you go again you don't have life still so better watch out for those damages and uh the fireball of this dude the that, that one you might get pushed towards the lava so make sure to watch out for that otherwise you won't get killed okay okay guys so we're just gonna finish this again what's your record on raids a solo for me i think it's seven minutes two seconds remaining i don't know if i made it here but that is the fastest with this mink okay Oh no, it's 58 seconds. Okay guys, so I think that's for this video. Tomorrow I'm posting more videos on other race awakening. And I hope that you enjoyed this one. Okay, so that's it. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.